You have entered the Chronics Rabbit Hole, and Michael, the Chosen, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request. You are bringing us down one of my favorite bands of all time, Opeth, and this is a two-for-one with the songs Coil and Air Apparent. I'm really excited for this, Michael. I haven't heard either of these songs, so this is, oh, this is a blessing in disguise. It's a watershed moment, some may say. Michael, thank you so much for giving us a write-up about this. This is from Watershed, which is the last album that they ever had growls on that I was informed of. Yep. Air Apparent being the last song that ever had growls from. You had mentioned that a watershed is the moment in which the water meets the not water. A distinct moment between two distinct periods of time. Very well put. Yeah. I'm really excited to see this because I've heard some of the newer Opeth. I've heard some of the older Opeth. I'm ready to see their watershed moment. If you guys are as excited about this as I am, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicles. Good job, honey. You ready? Yes. I'm ready. I'm scared. Okay. She told me why. She told me why. Dude. Right off the bat, this is really different because they didn't do a six minute intro before they started singing. <laughs> um, okay. You're nervous, aren't you? I am. <laughs> Sorry, this is only 11 seconds in. We love Opeth, y'all. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. She, okay. she doesn't know. <laughs> now I'm ready. She told me. She told me that I always take care of it. I told her how I've always stayed. Always waiting for nothing. When I get out of here, when I leave you behind, I find that the years pass us by. Who sees? When I get out of here. When I leave you behind, I find that the years pass us by. And I can see you run into the fields of sorrow. Yes, I can. so far oh my god it's so good baselines just so nice I'm, and prevalent it, the baseline's phenomenal i'm getting really drawn in with the picking that he's doing yeah, the, yeah the acoustic there yeah oh that is like in my soul like i feel him i feel you <sighs> oh my god
the storm that's building in the background. I'm so glad you did not pause it between Coil and Air Apparent's outro to the intro. Wise part decision there. Good time to pause it. I knew that there was going to be a good transition because the storm was building and I could hear the storm building yeah. while the female, there was a female vo vocalist, which... Do you want to know who that is? Yes, actually. Um, that's actually their drummer's, I believe, wife. Nice. Um, if I'm wrong, it's I think it's something like that though. Beautiful vocalist. Yeah. Um, it was really nice having some a female vocalist come in because Opeth is never happens. never happens yeah. Yeah. in any Opeth that I've heard, which has been one, but <laughs> um, maybe two. But um, female it was amazing having her come in. Um, it was really heart wrenching the first one. Um, uh, Coil. Yeah, Coil. Yeah. So the first song, Coil, it was really heart wrenching just because um, it sounded like. Almost like the guy could have gone to jail and they couldn't see each other because, you know, but then when they start seeing the lyric, we're running through the uh, Field of, of Sorrow. sorrow. Field yeah. of Sorrow, it's like, oh, he's in a depression. He's trying to get out of this depression. All this time has passed them by because mm -hmm. they just weren't able to see past the brim of their nose, essentially. Essentially, with, yeah. With their depression and whatever it was that they were going through. Yeah. As they're going through these Fields of Sorrow, I'm sure we've all been there where all you can see is the sorrow before you and you can't see past it to see yes. the beauty, to see the sunrise, to even look up and see the stars in the night sky. And so that was very powerful to me, especially, especially with, with that the picking stuff too. That, with that picking just going through. Yeah. And um, how they just repeated the the lyrics, um, yeah. the chorus, like four times for him, mm -hmm. four times for her. And just continuing that. Was hammering the point across. Very hammered across, and yeah. then having that storm coming in. Yeah. Like well, you're in the field, but just wait. You're like you're upset now. Just wait, and I, you get to hear it building and building and building. And so I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a phenomenal transition, and it was. And Michael, oh, you didn't nice. think I do coil and air apparent, you modest man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, we're gonna do both. You have to. Yes. You you, you have to. There's yeah. no other way. If that's how it is, we're gonna do it. Only eight minutes about left. Here we go.
I was allowed to pause it with that. It just kept going. Don't worry, I got you, honey, on this one. Oh, my God. Oh, that scream with the guitar. Oh, it's like, oh, my God. It just, they layer and transition where it feels like it's a continual layering, but it's actually, they layer, then they transition, but you forget they just transition, so it, it feels, feels like a build-up the whole time. Yeah, exactly. It's just building and building and building and building and then it feels like it's a constant solo the entire time with how much they're building and throwing those layers on and like as i was saying before they started off soft you know the man and the woman were like look at all the time we've lost and then he comes in growling he's like look at all the time we've lost <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and then um it's like... <laughs> I just saw her like soul come out when I looked at her eyes there. <laughs> and, and, um and then it's like and it's it's like that heavy storm where it's like you thought you were sad, but just wait, look where you're at now. Look at the time you've lost, but look at how much it's affected you. And now you're into this point where he's that guitar instead of like a constant growl, like you don't want to wreck your voice, let the guitar scream for you to, oh, to like drive that point home. And that guitar just came in. It was like, oh so many amazing riffs, so many amazing licks, so many amazing solos. The guitar work on this song is just so incredible. So phenomenal. And like that drum when they had that breakdown. Oh, like, that jazzy fill. Also, this song was on Rock Band, so I've like embodied this song. I've never played Rock. Band. Oh my god! <laughs> and like, so this is as you can see, I'm enjoying this so much, and I haven't heard this in so long. I've been waiting to show thumbnail lady this, and you guys have to experience it with us. So thank you. Let's do this. You ready again? Yeah. All right.
have to pause it. I'm sorry. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> well, I wanted to pause it earlier, but I didn't know when I could pause it. <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> it's out. <bad. laughs> but oh my god, that bass is so jazzy and that oh transition. Because right at before that transition happened, he was growling about and he was saying about how judgment was coming. And right. Yeah. So then it was that deliverance into that judgment. No kidding. And yeah. And then yeah. that really jazzy like a uh, bass line comes in mm -hmm. and then he's got the drums so oh kind of man going those that, drums oh my goodness and like with that bass line and those drums just alone like if the guitar is adding so a whole yeah. other level of course but they just layer so completely all the time they do. but um oh my god <laughs> the drums and the, and the bass and then it was literally the deliverance into the judgment and it's like He's almost out of the sorrow, the fields of sorrow, yeah. but he's he's getting there. He's, he's getting there, he's yeah. He's getting there. You're right. He started through the fields of sorrow. He's gone through. He, he's getting there. We're almost there. We're we got, <laughs> we got a, about a minute left of, you know, this pain. I just want to see, you know, does the third wave come and he's just done? Like. <laughs> and one thing, because we're oh right at God. the end here, something I've never noticed with Opeth's actual um, logo itself is the Ouroboros that's actually in it with the snake devouring his tail. And it's so subtle. But if yeah. you actually look at it, I think that's on purpose because that's a lot of metal scene has that in there and that symbolism. So I thought that was really cool as well on top of this. You know, yes. let's just get this. Here we go. left us hanging this this Whoa. is why michael we were thrilled that you have these lined up for us with this incredible album that i don't know why it would have any detractors from it um whether you like growling or um, clean vocals if you just focus on the artistry of their um instruments um oh my god, oh my god on top of the story they're telling and the atmosphere but like for for us you could see us like we started air instrumenting everything like the drum the the drumming. guitar the drumming but like you i never see you do that very often on this i don't i'm not a, i don't air guitar or air drum or well, air instrument very often but that's how much is getting oh, out of us God. and how excited i was for this y'all and you guys know why we're excited because as an opeth fan now you ex experience this. You know how long it is, how memorable it is, but how many memorable moments there, there are. There are so many memorable moments. Like, the amount of times that when you're listening... So I'm going to be honest, when the woman came in, that was very memorable for me. Of course. Because it never happened. Of course, yeah, and yeah. And it was such a direct contrast. Like, right off the bat, normally I'm used to the couple Opeth songs I've heard where they have a very long intro. Yeah. And they're building and building and building with a ton of different transitions before he actually comes in with the lyrics. Absolutely. And yeah. right off the bat, he was singing. Yeah. And then it was a very... It was soft, but it was very sorrowful. I got mm -hmm. a little, you know, I got a little teary-eyed a little bit wow. one way. And um, then she comes in, and that's kind of when I was like, ooh, right? Because it's like, yeah. when am I ever going to see you again? How much time we've lost? Look at everything we've gone through as we're walking through the fields of sorrow. Yeah, they were playing and their roles extremely well playing there. Playing the roles perfectly. Yeah. And then for it to be like, because I know there's so many times where you're within the music itself, and then even with emotional states where it's like, no, okay, like, it's okay. You know, it's fine. Oh, there's a storm coming. It's not that bad. Look what I've already yeah. gone through. Yeah, except <laughs> right? I don't even and know. You don't there's even layers. Know. And there's just so many layers, which is the story that Opeth is so good at portraying mm -hmm. with their mastery of the instruments that they're playing. Uh -huh. And then he also had, like, a, a flute or something come in at one point. It, yeah, and, or it's a keyboard some, effect. One of or the it was a keyboard effect, but yeah. some kind of, like, air instrument yep. sound we started going pan mode right yeah like pan literally yeah. pan being yeah. like no don't worry the storm's okay like they just follow me through yeah. and lured deeper and deeper until the time of judgment as yeah. he was growling look at the time i lost oh, it is time for the time of judgment and um then to be left on the hook at the very end when you know the guitar screaming in the midst mm -hmm. of it the storm's going and it's just there's just that, so ooh. much and it's like i don't know where to 
were to pause it, you had a ju- drum breakdown. At one point, you had like almost like a Spanish guitar <laughs> come in, yeah. in the middle of it. <laughs> and, and, and then they just leave you hanging with yeah. that squeal what a, at the end. What a perfect... Because and it was just it, and that was perfect. It was just it. Yeah. And then, so it leaves you like that cliffhanger. This was like... I can understand why this was the watershed moment. Yeah, yeah, it really was for them. And this album was their watershed because look at how they've cha- they are changing because i've heard one of the newer songs you showed me where there's right. no growls it's a lot it's more yep. of the, the newer music that was sorceress sorceress yeah and um the difference between sorceress versus hessian peel yeah from the same this... album well yeah the same hessian peel's same album oh is it yeah it is oh but blackwater park and deliverance are before that yes right um, I'm not. I can't. I, I don't. That's know fair. Yeah, I'm hoping that I listened to you from the older album then. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. um, but the, the the song that you I can see the difference of them, and you can see which way they veered. Exactly, and like I know you were giving me some background of Mike. Was it Michael the singer? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, and um, that he was like living off beans and cigarettes in his and, dark days. In yeah, his in the early days. days. It's like here's my canned beans. I got a coffee. Got some caffeine. Got some cigarettes. Away we go. What are we gonna then, write? What are we doing today? And, yeah. Like, those are the moments that give so much desperation gives so much need for that creativity. Yeah, it That's does. Why so a lot much of creativity the starving from starving artists yeah. is such a cliche because it's true. Absolutely. And going into this watershed moment where it's like I've been walking through this sorrow, this field, this this moment of beans and cigarettes yeah. for so long. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know what was coming to me. Yeah. And now I'm at my point of judgment and I don't know how it will end. So I have to just leave you hanging with this cliffhanger yeah. because my story is still being written. No kidding. And that's like, oh my God, this is so powerful. <laughs> and it's, you can, oh. can you see why this is my favorite band, y'all? Because like, how do you compete with this? And in, in my opinion, because of the multi-layered it is. But when you can be halfway through a song and the part mm-hmm. that's hitting you is so damn well. But then you're thinking of the part in two minutes. It's like, well, what's going to happen if it's hitting me this hard? But like, like I'm, I'm saying even knowing it's coming is what I'm trying to say. It's like when you're eating a meal, but then you're prepping your next meal. They've already prepped that next meal for you while you're eating it. So you can like, it's like when you get tapas and they give you a, like 16 different plates. And like, you know, you're getting these 16 plates, but you don't quite know how and which way. Or what's coming. You're but like, I you're know going to is- eat it. <laughs> I know that there is deer on this menu, but how are they preparing it? <laughs> but just like, come on, y'all. This oh is as good God. as it gets. And you can see how much we like it. I really enjoy being able to experience it for a first time via through you. And like, it's just such an energetic experience for me so i can't imagine what it is for you guys watching um the pure joy that this gives to us and this is why we love it michael that's why you have chosen you knew this is why we needed it so thank you so much for that it's been an amazing time you hope you guys had a good time with us if you're excited for more open coming down the rabbit hole you all know it's coming so hit that subscribe button we are exiting the rabbit hole now folks thank you so much michael yeah for- michael Michael and Michael. Thank you, Michael, for requesting our song to listen to the lead singer, Michael. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. <laughs> this is phenomenal. I still have the, it playing in my head as I am explaining this because it was such a good song. Um, pe- peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. And stick with us. Hit that subscribe button for the next OPEP to come down because there is more coming. And Michael and Michael will separate you because I think it's Macael. <laughs> yes. So we'll call you Michael. Our patron, thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special shout out to all of our patrons and YouTube members. We appreciate all of your support.